If you've been using the Windows operating system long enough, you probably came across RegEdit. RegEdit is short for Registry Editor and it's a built-in Windows tool that helps you add and modify low-level Windows settings. I'm talking about things like context menu items, startup programs, application permissions, and more. In this video, we're going to explore what the Windows Registry is all about, how it works, and what you can use it for. So if you've never used RegEdit before, here's how you can find it. It's really easy, just go to your start menu and type Registry Editor. Or you can open the command prompt and type in RegEdit. Once you open it, on the left side of the window, you'll see what is called a tree of folders, similar to the ones you see in the Windows Explorer. You can open these folders, and you can see there's a bunch of subfolders, and if you go deeper and deeper, at the bottom level there are these files, these entries. You can double click on them and see their name and value. Now in RegEdit, the folders are called keys, and the files are called values. So basically it's a bunch of key value pairs, and if you right click, you have the option to add a new key, like so, or a new value. There's different types of values, such as string value, binary, D word, Q word, multi-string value, and so on. Now the question is, what are these files and what do they mean? Well, as I said earlier, the Windows Registry is a database of low-level Windows settings. This could be settings that came with the operating system or application settings that came later on when you installed the program. For example, let's say that you installed a video downloader app. This app lets you choose a folder where you want to save your videos. Once you choose a folder in the app's interface, this is what will happen behind the scenes. The app will create a new key in the Windows registry, let's call it Downloads, and it will set its value to the location you chose. So it would look something like this. Let's take a look at another example. If I open this folder that has some files in it, you can see that whenever I right-click on a file, there are these four options with the red icon on the left. It says Add to Archive, Compress and Email, and so on. And by the way, the menu that pops up when you right-click on something is called the Context Menu. There are these four options that came with a program called WinRAR. When I first installed Windows, I didn't have these options. But when I installed WinRAR, these four options started showing up. So you can probably tell that these have something to do with the Windows registry. And that's exactly where these commands are stored. I managed to find the exact location, and here it is. And by the way, if you know exactly where you want to go in the RegEdit tool, you can just paste the address in this bar and press Enter. So here's the value that enables these four options in the context menu. If we double click it, we can see the value, which is a bunch of nonsense letters and numbers, but it definitely means something to the program itself. I'm going to copy this value for now, and I'll change it to a single dash. I'll click OK, and I'll go back to my folder and try to right click once again. We can see that the four options are now gone. This is because we changed the value that was enabling them and we put a random dash that doesn't mean anything. Now let's go back and reverse it to the way it was before because I actually want to have these four options. Paste the old value and save it. And I suggest that you do the same whenever you try to modify something in the registry. As I mentioned earlier, these are low-level window settings, meaning that if you mess something up, it might lead to a complete failure of the program or even part of the operating system. So it's best not to mess with it unless you know exactly what you're doing, or if you found a tutorial online that tells you exactly what to do. Anyhow, the least you can do when messing with the registry is to have a backup. If you're unsure about something, just copy the old value like I just showed, save it somewhere, and restore it if something goes wrong. Here's a few more examples that show what the registry can be used for. The first one is hardware information. 
For example, Windows stores information about the USB devices that were plugged in into your PC and by which user. The second one is default applications for different types of extensions. This means that the registry stores information about which app should open which types of files. For example, for MP4 files, you should use a video player, and for PNG files, you should use an image viewer. The third one is for cosmetic properties. Things like spacing between characters on desktop items, font size, font family, etc. Here's a few tips when working with the RegEdit tool. First of all, the registry is a big database with a lot of folders. Searching through these one by one is not a good idea. So what you want to do is go to Edit and Find and type in what you're looking for. If you don't get the wanted result, you can go to Edit and then Find Next or use the shortcut F3. Then just keep on pressing F3 until you get what you want. This is in case you're manually looking through the registry, but most of the time this is not going to be the case and you're going to know exactly where you want to go or you're going to look it up on Google. Modifying the registry can also be done automatically using reg files. You just open the reg file and it does the work for you. It can do everything you can do from the editor. Add, modify and remove entries. You can edit a reg file using any regular text editor. It has a specific syntax that you have to follow, but it's nothing too complicated. If you're interested to see the syntax, I'll have a link for that in the description. You can also generate a reg file for an entry that already exists. In regedit, find the folder you want and right click export. Save the file where you want. And if you open it, you can see that it has all the key value pairs from the folder you selected. Finally, if you want to modify the registry using the console, you can do that as well. Here's an example of a command. And if you want to use the registry in your application, you can do that using the advanced Windows Base API library which is stored in the ADV API 32 DLL file. The library offers a list of functions that let you do anything you would do normally using the editor. To sum things up, the Windows registry is basically a configuration store for most system settings. The registry consists of files that contain both system-specific and user-specific settings. The registry has a hierarchy and is split into five trees, also called hives. The trees' names give you a hint about what they contain, but you don't have to worry about that too much. I feel like it's much easier to understand them when you actually see an example of an entry. Just remember to be careful when modifying these entries, especially when it comes to certain window settings. If you're changing the configuration for a specific app, then it's most likely going to be fine, but you should be careful when working with Windows settings, because if it isn't done right, it can cause some serious problems. Anyways, that's it for this video. Let me know if you found it helpful, and I hope you learned something new today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.